We're Val and Mike from B98.7. We do the morning show and we are going over the edge next Friday, October 27th for YWCA and the Salt Lake Area Family Justice Center. Today we have some special guests with us from the YWCA. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Tell everybody who you are and what you do there. I'm Annie. I'm the Marketing and Communications Manager at YWCA Utah. And this is Amanda and she is a wonderful person who has used the resources at the YWCA and the Salt Lake Area Family Justice Center. And Amanda, you now, what would you like to tell the people of the world about the Salt Lake Area Family Justice Center and the YWCA? Uh, well, they're an amazing organization and uh, now that the Family Justice Center is now a public a community open door uh, facility there on campus. Now everybody could just go and investigate. Go walk in, see what they offer. See if it fits you. Um, if you're worried about anybody in your family that you love and adore, and maybe a relationship isn't healthy or a situation isn't good, um, it's no harm just to check it out, see what they have. It's, there's no harm in making somebody feel safer. Now you and your kids actually lived at the YWCA for about eight months. Eight months? This is several years ago. Before the Family Justice Center was a community available thing, it was something kind of underground, literally. <laughs> um, it was on the lower floor. It was something there that was available to clients only of the YWCA at that time. But now it's a community uh, available center that's open. It's there on the corner of 3rd and 3rd. Um, and anybody can walk in and just ask what they have. There's, they have, they offer uh, counseling. Uh, legal assistance. There's a legal aid facility there. There's, um, they have, do they, they have the Salt Lake City Hub for the police there? We do. We have the Unified Police Department there as well as the Salt Lake City Police Department has representation. We have 14 different agencies so that someone who's coming in to seek help from abuse, they don't have to go around town and get services from different places. They can just come into one place. Kind of just go cubicle to cubicle rather than around town. Right, and we have we'll have someone there that'll help walk them through that and make sure that they get all the help they need. That's where all the money is going for our Over the Edge endeavor that's happening on the 27th. We're gonna be going Over the Edge and we need your help because we both need to raise at least $1,000 a piece to go Over the Edge for all of the money to go to this wonderful facility. Most of the um, women and men that uh, leave their homes because of domestic violence situations leave with nothing and they head to the YWCA Family Justice Center and they need all the help they can get and that's where all the money goes. We're going to put a link right below this video where you can click and donate $10 to each of us or more if you want. <laughs> we'll take it all. Go donate right now. It's a great resource that we have in our community and we want to keep it and that's why we're raising some money doing Over the Edge on the 27th. Go to the link. You'll find out more and you can donate $10 or more to each of us as we go Over the Edge next Friday. Thank you. Woo.